Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today I wanna to go through a really common mistake in deadlifting and squatting specifically. And it's just, it's something that I see, not necessarily in everyone, but it's really common in people who really like to lift weights. Uh, I, I remember I, I saw a guy at a weightlifting course we were working on this with, and he had this reversed spinal curve. So normally your upper back should be a little bit rounded. Um, you don't, you know, you don't want to live like this, but a little bit is actually normal. If I'm super flat, super proud, super military posture, you might call it, uh, that's generally worse for you than a slight amount. It's, it's always worse for you than a slight amount of slouch. And sometimes it's arguably worse for you than a lot of slouch. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about is what this mistake is, and I wanna talk through how we wanna fix it, it's specifically in our big lifts, like our, our squats and our deadlifts. So the problem here is I've reversed the normal curve of the spine. So I talked about the normal uh, rounding of the upper back, but we also have a normal arch in the lower back and in the neck. And what happens is we flatten out that upper back, that thoracic spine, because we're trying to stick the chest out, keep the chest really proud. But since everything is connected, if I just kept that, I would fall forward because it would push my weight forward. So what happens is the low back has to push backward and the neck has to flatten out as well. The neck pushes backward. And so I get this like super, super straight spine. Now, that can be okay. It stacks the spinal joints pretty well. Uh, so if I'm doing something super heavy, it's it's advantageous, we'll say. Um, it's advantageous to support all the load. But the reason it becomes a problem is because when I do that, I steal my mobility from my other joints, right? So if I flatten my spine, my spine doesn't rotate a whole whole lot um, and I need my spine to rotate a lot to move my hips and move my shoulders and not you know overload my elbows and my wrists and whatever your problem may be. Um, okay so the other thing to look at when doing squats and deadlifts with this super high chest up kind of activity uh, is to get since I lose my mobility to get all the way down there let's so um, this scenario I'm gonna paint for you is you've looked at the internet, you really like to work out, you maybe do CrossFit or something like that, um, and you've heard on the internet, chest up. You wanna keep your chest up. What have, and, and what you've heard is you have to squat below parallel, otherwise you're not really squatting. Um, so you're, you know, maybe you're me 10 years ago and you're super macho and you're like, okay, well, I need to squat deep and I need to stick my chest out a lot. Um, and now my back hurts or now my ex something else hurts. Um, so this is super, super common, uh, with a super proud chest comes extra mobility at the low back. So with my squat, I stick my chest out and my whole body is arched until about here. This is not low enough. This is not where I'm stopping my squat. So I keep going down and I get this extra motion from my low back and I can feel it right there. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. My low back pushes that way. My upper back is still pushing this way. So that's the issue. Now to fix it, I've just got to take the reversal of the spinal curve out of it, or I've, I've at least got to chill it out a little bit. So at that point, what I just showed you, that's not just a flat spine, that's a reversed spine. So everything is going the wrong way. So the fix then is a little bit of slouch. Just, you know, don't be so proud with your chest when you're setting up for your squat or even when you're setting up for your deadlift, right? That's going to reduce your mobility. It's going to, you're gonna run out of hip motion and you're gonna overload the back. It's really easy to see this. If you look at someone's posture, if they do this and you notice it during your lifts, you'll probably notice hypertrophy or muscle gain in those low back erector spinae muscles. When they move, 
you you send this uh, hypertrophy stimulus. So it's a it's a good like I can look at you and I can know how you lift just by looking at you and not watching you lift. It's kind of cool. Um, so the fix is slight slouch. And then from there, I'm not going to let myself slouch more. I'm not going to let my back arch because that's going to be your tendency. I'm not going to let my back arch as I come down. I'm just going to hold this position. Okay, so something like this, right? Now, <laughs> it's easier said than done, right? If I put a bunch of weight on the bar, it's gonna be hard again. I'm gonna go hind brain. I'm not gonna think about what I'm doing and I'm just gonna do it the way that I'm used to doing it. Okay, so you have to, you have to gradually progress yourself up into this. It's just like any other skill. You have to learn it, okay? So uh, do it stepwise. Try it with a ridiculously light weight and make sure you're really good at it. Make sure you can get 10 reps in a row without pausing and then put 10 pounds on each side of the bar and try it again. Uh, or 25, if, if it's like a deadlift, you know, start with 135, go to 185. Um, it's gonna take a lot of practice and you're gonna have this tendency to go back into it. So you gotta, you gotta play against that a little bit. But this is, it's not that it's a low hanging fruit, but it's going, it's, it's gonna be difficult to fix this pattern, but it's gonna give you a whole lot, right? If I, if I can keep my spine in the right position, like that is tremendous for making more gains. And, and plus you're, you're not just gonna stop overloading your low back, but you're gonna start loading the muscles that should be loaded, like your glutes and your hamstrings and your quads and stuff. Um, it, just real quick recap. Don't stick your chest out too much. Get just a slight little slouch, right? It's not like I'm crunching down, just a slight little slouch. Uh, another way to think about it is just um, kill some of the tension. You don't need to be so vigilant before the exercise is even happening. You want to only use what tension is required to get the thing done. Right? I don't want to be super, super tight even for my warm-up sets because it's unnecessary. I don't need to restrict my motion that much if it's just 135. Okay? So slight slouch. Don't move the spine from there. Okay? You got to stick the butt out. You got to keep driving through the heels. Uh, you got to, you know, you got to let yourself bend over if it's a deadlift. And you got to load the hamstrings, but you got to maintain that on the way up as well. So use all your other cues that I know you've practiced and just try it out. See what it feels like to, <laughs> to not have your spinal curve reversed.